A hearty welcome to all of you. Now, in this video, we are about to discuss the important aspects of a research paper, where most of the people get confused with the difference between abstract and reduction. And these differences are explained in a very clear and simple list of the way. Let us have the differences segregated between the abstract and introduction. Whereas abstract is very simple. It looks like very simple. And it also be called as the opening bracket of any research work or any research paper. And it has to be very concise description of the entire work. And the abstract must have the purpose stated in the paper. Whereas the introduction must have the detailed background such that one can be attracted towards it to have a clear picture of what is going to happen in the entire thesis. Later, <clears throat> in abstract, the abstract can contain the things like a, a brief description of results, discussion, and a conclusion means whatever the recommendations, suggestions carried out throughout the work, they can be kept in a very, very brief manner in the abstract. Whereas introduction, we cannot keep all these things. It is not possible to put them things in the introduction part of a research paper. Whereas the abstracts in any research paper or research work comes before the introduction part. Whereas the introduction comes after the writing the abstract of a paper. Now here, one more point to be discussed is abstract saves the time of the reader such that we can go through the entire work in simplest of the time such that as it highlights the important points or parts of an article or paper. Whereas the introduction as it contains detailed background it draws the reader's interest towards it and it can be called as hypothesis. It means it has the part of hypothesis which draws the reader's interest towards the paper. Let me tell you in simple words, abstract can be called as the open bracket of any research work, whereas introduction is called as the place where we mention the background of the work and it may contain the hypothesis of the entire work, which tells what can be done in future. And when it comes to the, the contents, what it might be having, abstract might have results, discussions, recommendations, conclusions, all those things. Whereas introduction can have the need and importance of the work, the motivation, the objectives, and the hypothesis and the organization of the entire research paper also can be presented in the introduction part of the research paper itself. And hope this video gives a clear and simple picture of what is happening with a lot of the people who gets confused with the abstract and introduction and they write the same things in both abstract as well as introduction or sometimes they get confused like they write the entire introduction in the abstract itself such that the abstract and introduction will not have any different impact. Keep it in mind, they, they are different and they must be different as mentioned in this video here. They must have a different topics such that they save the reader's time as well as they create some interest towards that particular paper. This is about the difference between the abstract and the introduction part of the research work. Hope this video has helped you. I would like to request you to please like, share, and say some comments such that we can bring more content to you. Thank you for listening to us and subscribe to the channel kindly.